In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape text, links, images from any website on the internet using ChatGPT. If you are interested in ChatGPT plugins, I have a whole playlist that includes many of them. I'm going to link it down below. All right, let's get started. So the first thing is that you want to go to GPT-4, then you go to plugins. And we are going to be using a plugin that looks like this, and it's called Scraper. As you can see, we have this small description here, scrape content from web pages by providing a URL. If you are curious about how you can install it, you simply go to plugin store. And fortunately, we do have a search bar right now in ChatGPT plugins. So what you want to do is to write down scraper and you want to install this one. And then you want to make sure that the plugin is activated with this blue check mark on the right. If you click on it, you will see that you have one out of three enabled in this current chat. The first thing that I always love to do with these plugins is that I am just going to ask ChatGPT what this plugin does. ChatGPT has the knowledge about all the plugins in the plugin store, so don't forget to take advantage of it. And then we get an answer. The Web Scraper plugin is a tool that allows me to scrape content from web pages. This can be useful for gathering information from specific websites or web page that isn't already in my training data. Here's a brief explanation of the function. Here's a brief explanation of its functions. This function retrieves content from a web page. You provide a URL and the function will return the content of that page. You can specify the type of content you want to scrape, text, links or images. By default, it scrapes text. Please note that the use of this tool must respect copyright laws and the terms of use of the website being scraped. All right, so in the first prompt, we are going to scrape for text and we are going to be scraping openai.com. If we send this, you can see that the plugin is automatically being used because that's the only plugin that we have enabled in this current chat. All right, and it's done. So we have all these paragraphs that it's scraped from the specific page that we have provided. You can also see that it's writing, please note that this is a direct extraction of the text content from the web page, and the formatting may not perfectly match the original layout of the site. So for example, let's copy uh, the part of this one, and then let's go to OpenAI, and we can see that when we search for the text on the page, it was found here. The same way we can go, for example, with this one and then place it and find the text. And we can see that the text was found over here. So it correctly scraped the text that was found on that one specific page. All right, so the next one is uh, scraping for links. So please scrape openai.com for links. We are going to send this. All right, and we are done. So these are all the links that were found on that specific page. And we even get this uh, carousel down here where we can browse through the links. If we are going to click, for example, on pricing, we are going to be redirected to the pricing of OpenAI. And actually the pricing can be found under the product on the landing page. So it did a good job. We have all the other links gathered here as well. And then we have a small note saying, please note that this is a direct extraction of the links from the web page and the descriptions may not perfectly match the original layout of the site. We can also use the carousel here. So for example, careers, if we click on it, we are going to be redirected to careers. And on the main landing page, it was actually under company and careers. All right, and thirdly, what we are going to do is to scrape openai.com for images. We are going to send this. And what this does is that it's going to create a list of images directly in ChatGPT that are found on the landing page openai.com. If we go to the page that is being scraped by the plugin, you can see that there are so many different images that this scraper plugin in ChatGPT should find. And just like that, we got the results. So it found 12 images and it says, here are some of the images found on the OpenAI website. All right, let's click, for example, on this one for casting misuse. And just like that, we got the image. We can right click on it, save image as, and save it. And we have the image downloaded. Now keep in mind that as they are writing, there might be some copyright issues here. So you just have to make sure that the images are not copyrighted and you are free to use them. Also, there might be some terms of use of the specific images for that specific website. So make sure to check that out before you actually download the image. But if we go, for example, on this one, 
We have another script image that we can save. And here is another one. It also writes down, please note that the descriptions are based on the alt text provided by the website. Right. If you enjoyed this video or if you learned something new, hit the like button. If you are interested in tech and AI, including ChatGPT and ChatGPT plugins, definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.